That's where we at. Blue Links, Richmond, Virginia. I've been here before. I've been to a lot of these same places over and over. Last time I came here, I actually spent the night here, right there on the street, right there. I took a 10 hour break. That was like two years ago. I dropped off, I dropped off here. Then there was some some materials that, that got rejected from somebody else that I had to pick up and take them back to North Carolina. Somewhere out there, man, I forgot where I took that stuff to. It was out there close to Ashburg. It was out there though. Ended up using Google Maps to get there. Come on, cause they had one road. They had one road out there that was like uh, something about the damn weight limit on the road. That that my truck GPS wouldn't wouldn't uh. It took me like an hour around to get to it. Hey, I Google mapped it. Google mapped it all the way in. <laughs> Truck GPS going crazy. I even I even pulled over in a food line parking lot. Cause that's when I had the old Ram and Nelly. It kept saying, uh, violation, violation, violation. I like, oh man. I even pulled over at the food line and looked at it. I looked at it on satellite view. I said, what's going on, man? I said, look, it's like a four-lane highway. I'm like, how can I not get up there? Hey, Google Map right on in. Hey, y'all gotta be, hey, I'm not telling y'all guys to use Google Maps or Apple Maps or whatever y'all use. Hey, just uh, make sure you be cautious no matter what you're using. Hey, if you ain't, if you ain't using it already, hey, take this opportunity for y'all guys that don't have a truck GPS like I do. Hey, go ahead and download Trucker Path. Get you some premium truck route. Save 10% off a of membership using my link in the description. <laughs> hey, I just had to throw that out there, man. Hey, I had to throw that out there. I got one truck in front of me. And, uh, look like somebody that works there or something. They behind the truck. I'm assuming that truck is in the office. Hey, guess what? I had a 9 o'clock appointment. 9 o'clock appointment. This place is supposed to be appointment only. I see a TMC truck in there, not even unloaded, got his straps off. Then I see another truck in front of me. Let's look. Look at the TMC truck sitting right there. Look, he just not checking this guy in. TMC truck ain't had got nothing off. This guy has a, a load of OSB looks like with, with a tarp on it. But I got a nine o'clock appointment. It's nine o'clock now. Come on now. Appointment only my ass. I want y'all to see this. What'd that say? Delivery. Nine o'clock. No nine to nine thirty. Nine o'clock on the dot. Additional info order. No tarp engineered wood product. Where is that? By appointment only. 0800 to 1200 hours. Hey, nine o'clock appointment my ass. Not a good spot for this warehouse. These drivers got a blind side back to get up over there. 1013. Still ain't pulled in the gate. Nine o'clock appointment, my ass. My man doing pretty good.
I don't know what the hell going on. <laughs> My first time coming here. Lane one. Billings. Alright, I need a twit card in your license. You're getting that by yourself? Yeah, by myself. Okay, I don't want all this one, man. Just take the twit. Alright. And your license. First time coming here, man. Huh? So that's my first time coming here. No problem. We're gonna go to your right hand side over there. You see that gate? Yes, sir. I'm gonna go over there. You All right. No weapons, no guns, no knives. Might got a box cutter somewhere. I ain't got no knife and guns. Alright, you gonna have no firearms. Nah. Okay. You in there by yourself? By myself. Okay, go on over there. In one quarter mile, turn left on Merritt Street, then take the first left. Buddy just got done searching my truck. Made me stand right there. Got me this little badge. I had to stand right there beside the truck. Got, hey, I'm surprised he ain't pat me down. There's another PNS driver back there. Hey, he just got me sitting here right now. I need to tighten up. I gotta hit the road. I gotta wait right here. Let the let the escort and the uh, other PNS truck go past me. Then I gotta follow them. Hey, just to let y'all know, I do have a Twit card. But since it's my first time here, I don't know where to go. That's why I'm following them. I just talked to that PNS driver just a while ago too. He told me he was waiting on the escort. They didn't even do all this stuff at the Savannah Port. Matter of fact, the Savannah Port and the Port of Philadelphia. They didn't do all this. North Carolina, once you get a North Carolina Port badge, once you get that badge, you don't got to get searched. But if you ain't got the, if you ain't got the North Carolina badge, they don't search you. You just go in. Next time I come back here, I know where to go, so I ain't got to wait on nobody. PNS driver got a boat, got a boat head up there. I ain't no PNS driver, you boat head. Alright, now get over the railroad tracks, driver. Get over these tracks. Poor Divide, Norfolk, if I didn't tell y'all. Pretty big place.
Then a container truck passed me just to get right back in front of him. He should have just stayed behind me. Truck driver's always in a rush. How many of y'all ever, ever did containers? How y'all like it? Looks like a lot of waiting to me. But I guess, you know, maybe it pays good. That's a lot of trucks out here waiting. Find me somewhere to park. Look like I gotta turn around, drivers. Like I gotta turn around. Social distancing. Six feet of space. Six feet of space if you can't hear me through the mask. That one little, that little check-in place. One little small room. I see everybody had mask on, so I made sure I took mine out of the truck. Hey, anybody ever parked the truck at a shipper receiver and walked, walked all the way to the office or wherever you had to walk to, and then you get there and you see a sign say mask required. Then you gotta walk all the way back to your truck and get a mask. I wish I did have an escort. That way I know where to go. But now I gotta go back on the main road and go back down on Lagoon Road, make a right, and then follow that so I can't go no more. We're about to see. What's going on with this oversized load? You get on out the way, buddy.
got to go all the way down this road to Lagoon Road. Cut my map on. I see Lagoon Road ahead on my GPS. Oh, they got some street signs. Lagoon Road right here, man. Woo! Goon Road. Then we gotta ride this till you can't go no more. And veer off to the right. And you should see something. You should see, I forgot what that guy told me. I'm just gonna be looking for the other PNS, uh, the other PNS truck. Can't miss it, it's a blue one. If y'all heard that beeping earlier, that was my uh, my seat belt. Sometimes the sensor, sometimes it's like the sensor don't don't work correctly. Okay, keep going, keep going. Let me stay to the right in case somebody coming. That guy, that guy did tell me to look for some drop trailers. That's what we got right here, a bunch of drop trailers. Ride it till you can't ride it no more, veer off to the right. I don't see the other PNS truck. Like I'm gonna have to ask somebody for directions. Cause I don't see the other PNS truck. I'm gonna ask this guy in this pickup right here. Oh, I see the other PNS truck. Going looking for the billets. The, the billets. Hold on. coming to places when it's my first time coming. I ain't gonna say I hate it. But you know you just gotta you just gotta figure it out. Look at these uh, US Navy boats up here. Look pretty cool. Just like he got it. What's so that? just. Yeah, just like he's got it. He's got so you only need four. Uh, I don't know about that. It's your, it's your load. You know got, what I mean? Gotcha. But it needs to be too high so you can get those thick blades out. Gotcha. Once he sets it down. All right. Be a good guy. 
Guys, Dan, he'll help you out. Got any questions? They know better than me. All right. Oh, so that's the billet. Yeah, those that steel is the billet. Yeah, on the ground right here too. You'll get ten of those. Yeah, I googled it there. I ain't know what they were. They were the ones I said were like shiny. <laughs> Well, the, it's a uh, different they kind. They were when they got yeah. set down. <laughs> I guess they make the billet rims out of them and everything. Yeah. Right? Okay. Grills. All right, my friend. You have a safe trip. Hope to see you soon. All right. Thank you. All right. So those on the ground right there to the left are billets. Yeah, billets. Oh, I'm gonna need like six pieces. Loop around, get behind him. Get behind PNS driver. I'll see. I'll tell y'all what, I never hauled these things before. But I'm smart enough to know not to throw all the straps across the top because this you gotta you gotta bind this stuff together so i'm not throwing all the straps across the top so i gotta i gotta bind it up yeah i ain't gonna throw them all across the top you gotta choke these things I climbed up here to make sure these straps ain't all tangled up. Basically like the same way you would do with some uh with some slinkies. Something like that. You gotta bind them together. Bind these bad boys together. Bind these bad boys together. Gonna do it like that. What do they call it? Choke straps. Choke straps. Is that what they call it? Something like that. But I got them alternating, so they all ain't pulling to the same side. I got them alternating just a little bit. There we go. Safety first. I got that one tight already. I'll tell you what, if you don't know something, just ask. Cause I, I actually asked the, the guy that worked here. I said, how do they use the security things? Do they use chains or straps? He was like, nah, use straps. But you gotta choke them. A little flatbed common sense. Some, most places will have a band going around them to band them all together. That way you didn't have to worry about it. But they didn't band them together. Like when you haul that black pipe out of US Steel. If you ever haul pipe out of US Steel and you have like multiple drops you might have like two or three drops and they have some of them that's still up there but you would think they would roll around but they put a band on them so they don't roll and then all you got to do is just go over the top and secure them so basically the same principle hey we're gonna get these things there safely and keep myself in one piece you see how I got them wrapped up? Of 
course I ain't gonna ride like that. <laughs> I gotta tighten them up now. I'm a clown. Let me see. I'm a, I don't like that one. I gotta do something about that one. Let me go ahead and get right back up there. See how I got them things doubled up? These ain't doubled up. He's pulling over here. Look pretty good. Look pretty good, y'all. Let's back up a little bit. Let's ride, gang. Hey, before I wrap this video up, I want to give a shout out. Not, not to my truck, not, not the big snow. I want to give a shout out to my, uh, to my dog Carolina Breeze from Flow Town, Carolina boys. Hey, I just seen my man down there in Wilmington two weeks ago, and he told me about this load. He told me he picked this load up. I remember, bro. I remember you told me. And here I am. Hey, hey, coincidence. I come get the same damn load. But all right, man. I'm about to check out. Appreciate it, brother. I'll see you next time. Black man game.